Hello folks, welcome to the next episode of Barry Science Lab Astronomy. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the tides. The tides are much more universal than you may think. In fact, the tides are the governing forces for many astronomical bodies. They shape and mold many celestial objects, and we're going to explore just how in today's episode. Over the course of today's episode, we're going to discuss why we have many tides throughout the day here on the Earth, how the moon causes two tides on opposite sides of the Earth. Let's check it out. The first thing you need to know about tidal forces is that there are two tidal bulges caused here on the Earth. One tidal bulge is caused on the side of the Earth near the moon, facing the moon, and one is caused on the other side of the Earth, polar opposite side, facing away from the moon. Now, the tidal bulge caused on the side near the moon might seem pretty obvious, right? Because the moon, of course, exerts a gravitational tug on the Earth's oceans, thus causing a tidal bulge on the side of the Earth that is facing the moon. But what about the other side? Doesn't it seem like there should be only one tidal bulge? Well, actually, the moon's tidal uh, force, the gravitational tug of the moon, pulls the Earth's center of mass such that the other side of the Earth also experiences a tidal bulge because of the movement of the center of mass. And that is why we have two tidal bulges here on the Earth. Dad, do you know why we have tidal bulges here on the Earth? Because the gravitational pull by moon is about two times 10 to 20 Newton. Okay, well, why don't we have tidal bulges on the moon? Because the Earth also exerts a tug on the moon, right? Well, that's easy because moon doesn't have any water on it. Oh, okay. So the Earth's tidal bulges occur because the Earth has a, a huge amount of water, right? Uh, well, that's, that's, that's right. But on the moon, yeah, moon experience some uh, tidal bulges because uh, although moon doesn't have any water, it rocks experience a little bit. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you, Dad. You might think that the tides are deceivingly simple, but that's actually not true. There's a lot of nuances and physical uh, complexities to be had with the tides. And what are they? Well, first of all, the Earth's tides don't respond immediately to the moon's gravitational tug. Why is that? Well, the Earth spins, right? The Earth is spinning. And so that spinning actually spreads out the tidal bulge just a bit above the Earth's uh, center of Earth moon center of mass line. And because of that, the tidal bulge is kind of spread out and its center of mass is just above the Earth's center of mass and moon center of mass. And because of that, the Earth's tidal bulge actually exerts a pull like a dog's on a leash. The Earth pulls the moon along in its orbit, and because of that pull, the moon responds by increasing its altitude, its orbital altitude. And because of that tidal force, the moon is actually getting farther and farther away from us, centimeters every year. Folks, now I want to talk about why there are four tides in a day, two low tides and two high tides. Let's say you start off the day with a high tide. Well, because the Earth rotates once every 24 hours, you're going to go to a low tide six hours later. Six hours after that, you're going to go back to a high tide. And another six hours later, you're going to go to a low tide. And then six hours later, you come back to where you started, which is a high tide. Therefore, you have a new tide every six hours. And now you know where the tides are and when they happen. So every six hours you have a new tide and recall that the high tides will be on the sides of the earth that are facing directly to the moon and directly opposite uh, facing away from the moon. And the low tides will be 90 degrees away from where the high tides are. So then you can think that we have these four tides, high, low, high, low, separated by 90 degrees or six hours for a total of four tides every 24 hours. So folks, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.